Dress code came out while you was in the middle of your career, right? No, I hated that dress code. So why? It was some. You ain't want to get your. You ain't want to get fits off. Now you be on like league fits. They have you on Instagram. They have you walking down the runway. You show off your shoes. It was some bullshit. Why? It was bullshit. Cause my whole thing is, look, I don't care how you come to work. As long as you come to work decent and do your job. Mm. We was doing that. Everybody was doing that. You know, he wanted to try to take it to the who? Uh, Stern wanted to try to take it to the next level. You funny too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just for posterity, just to be clear. <laughs> And uh, you know that's when they came with that whole dress code shit. Uh, I know I hated it, cause for the simple fact for me, it was it was just a waste of fucking clothes. <laughs> Why? Cause man, now I gotta buy an extra five or six suits, right? Eighty two games. Or look, I'm, oh no, you flip all that shit up. You know what I'm saying? That we had the dress jeans. That's when the Prada shoes came out. Oh, oh everybody in the league. They had rocking John Hill. Them. Nigga, we had the blues, the black, the red, all that shit. We was rocking all them joints with the button up. Care Prada float Yo, during the early 2000s. Hell, ain't ain't none of us wearing that shit. I I can't I gave the suits away. You know what I'm saying? To cats out other cats I know in the hood or somewhere. It was all a waste of money. So you wouldn't want to be like first team all outfit. That wouldn't be like something on your go. On oh, they could keep all that tight shit. <laughs> they could keep it all. It's not on. It would go on your Wikipedia if you if you did it. Oh no, it would go on more than a Wikipedia. <laughs> 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 what? I get killed every way. Man. They found out you was dressing too nice. No, dressing that Euro shit. Who the worst dresser you ever played with or you ever seen? Might have been me. <laughs> <laughs> Why? So you just never you I, didn't care? Yeah, I ain't really dress up like that, yo. I mean, like, I throw some bullshit jeans on with a button up. I'm out the door. I ain't care what the shit look like. I ain't so really you didn't have no stylist? My well, it got better. Cause at the time I was married, so my wife was like, "Oh, there's a certain nice standard she kept you. If, yeah. if you do get a haircut, if you put the suit on." She was Coach Bill L. Yeah. So yeah, so it's like okay, you know. <laughs> so you know, she got me the suit and everything, and man, that's that's that was my fashionista. You know, when I was mm -hmm. in the league, all the any type of thing. She, I ain't know shit about no damn Prada sneaker shoes. That was all my ex-wife shit. She, she okay. Keep, keep you from looking ridiculous. I mean, I'm getting fine. I thought I was looking cool though. What? That's you know the what I'm thing saying? though. I had on some airs, some jeans. You know what I'm saying? Might have been a fly little t-shirt. Might have been a nice little button up with some shit on the back or the front. You know what I'm saying? And or I might have had a, a lumberjack shirt. You know what I'm saying? You might have been the worst dress as you say these things out. No, there. I'm telling you, I. It was, it was you all most along. cats. Most cats are dressed. No, okay. You should ask me the sharpest. Okay, who's the sharpest? Now, now I'm gonna have to say the two sharpest cats I saw. I, no, three sharpest cats I saw who was always professional. Actually, four as I think about. It. All right, damn. The seven most sharpest. cats <laughs> So I would have to say one was Jawan Howard. Okay. From my rookie season, Jawan Ashley. Um, show how to be a professional because he would wear suits or nice, you know, dress up clothes. Every game. Every game. Oh, yeah. um, the other one was Jim Jackson, mm. Ohio State dude. He, um, same thing, you know, Jim Jackson would wear a suit to the game or a nice casual outfit. It wasn't like the back in the day, we was all into the baggy shits and right. all that. No, Jim would dress nice. Like fitted, um, tailored stuff. Yeah. And the other two um, was my man Damon Stoudemire, mm -hmm. um, Biggs. He would always come again, something nice, uh, a suit, some nice shoes would go with it, this and that. And uh, the other one, boy, this this boy could have been on GQ. Oh. He could, my man Antonio McDice. Hey. Dice was a big stepper. What the biggest stepper? Hey man, Dice. Hey, Dice was a dressing motherfucker, dog. He from Mississippi, right? I just respectfully, you just yes. don't hear a lot of like high. Hey, you know what Dice I mean? was a dressing motherfucker. Dice used dog. to have it on. 
man, Dice, Dice used to come, you know, it had like some nice dress jeans on, some some shoes. He'll have a button up on with the sleeves rolled up, a nice vest, a little tiresome, have his little cluster. I was like, damn. I was like, okay, man, Dice was Dice was the sharpest shit, dog. Wait, so why didn't you ever say I should dress more like no. Antonio McDyess? No, I should dress more like too much these money. Guys. I had too many kids. I had kids. My kids, they was big as shit, dog. You That's your excuse. Dice don't have no kids. None of these other guys got kids. I mean, he got he got kids now, but I mean shit. I was like the Huxtables when I was in the league, okay? <laughs> I was Heathcliff. I was Heathcliff and I had Theo. Um, well then I, I had all boys and just my baby girl, but yeah, we was the Huxtables, cuz. Now you can't say that. No, you can't be the hustlers anymore. No, nah, no, nah, because it's 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 no more. You know. No, that's no, no. That that uh, black unit is 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 gone. It's scarred at the moment. Mm mm. But they still set records, though. You can't take that away from. They did do numbers. 